I will talk about the metabolism of earliest life, what we know and what we do not know about it. All modern life uh, comes from a starting population of cells known as the last universal common ancestor, or LUCA. Those cells are the ancestor of all life, and thus the earliest metabolism, the metabolism of LUCA, shared similarities with all known types of current life metabolism. We know that the earliest metabolism had to include lipid synthesis for building membranes isolating the cells from the environment. Then we need energy. Metabolism had to produce source of ATP and other energy currency molecules. Earliest metabolism was definitely based on proteins, made using current genetic code. We know that because all known organisms on Earth share the same DNA, RNA and genetic code, so this has to be already established in the last universal common ancestor. Therefore, protein synthesis and synthesis of other molecules involved in translation, like tRNA, was a big part of metabolism of early organisms. This is a diagram of the proposed main metabolic pathways of the last universal common ancestor cell. The atmosphere of the early Earth did not have oxygen, so all of the metabolism of earliest cells was anaerobic. It's important to remember that we do not have a sample of earliest cells. Therefore, anything we can say about this earliest metabolism is derived from comparison of modern, modern metabolism of all domains of life and from studies of possible environments of early Earth. This diagram was created comparing metabolism, proteins and small molecules, of most known modern types of life and finding common shared elements that must have been present in earliest life forms. The environment in which this particular LUCA model is placed is somewhere in or near a hydrothermal vent. In the lower right corner, you can see the list of components likely present in this earliest LUCA metabolism. Proteins and cofactors for the earliest metabolism all also found in modern cells. Some things to notice, most important elements of the metabolism highlight on this illustration, are the processes leading to the production of energy. Gradients of ions across the membrane can be used by enzymes to synthesize ATP, one of the main er energy currency molecules of terrestrial metabolism. Another important part of Lucas' earliest metabolism are enzyme cofactors, most notably still widely used in modern life s adenosyl methionine SAM, and iron sulfur clusters. Both of those were likely abundant in earliest metabolism. All building blocks of life, all energy molecules, biopolymers like proteins and nucleic acids, all lipids making membranes, and all other organic molecules are built with carbon. Therefore, the process of uptaking inorganic carbon from the environment and converting it into organic carbon building blocks of life is the key metabolic process of all of life. This process, called carbon fixation, must have been present in the earliest life cell metabolism, but likely was much simpler, using less enzymes and less complex enzymes. Another crucial and very interesting part of metabolism is synthesis of membrane lipids. Modern cells have two distinct families of membrane lipids. The difference is in how a glycerol molecule is derivatized with lipid chains. Bacteria and eukaryotes are sharing one type, and archaea are having another distinct orientation of the way in which lipids attach to the glycerol. Different enzymes are used to make those two different types of lipids. This is an interesting example of how a key metabolic process, synthesis of membrane components, was probably not entirely set at the time of LUCA and earliest metabolism, and it was still rapidly evolving. We can use this lipid synthesis pathway comparison as an example of evolution from earliest metabolism ancestors. For some steps in the lipid synthesis pathway, there is a phylogenomic evidence either supporting the hypothesis that homologous enzymes carried out a particular step in the early metabolism, or indicating that the presence of the relevant enzymes in the early metabolism cannot be excluded. Differences between the modern domains of life had to evolve from the simpler, more general pathways in earlier metabolism. We don't know exactly what was the lipid synthesis pathway in the earliest metabolism, but we can be pretty certain that there was a membrane, and we can speculate with high degree of confidence about the nature of membrane proteins necessary to move nutrients, waste, and signals through those membranes. 
Here are some example articles to start in more, more in-depth exploration of current theories on protein and molecules possibly involved in the earliest metabolism.